Hey, you okay? You okay? You okay? Got him, huh? We're gonna get him. <laughs> so we're gonna call this we're gonna call this day zero of race week in Pueblo, Colorado. Uh, man, what beautiful weather! It's it's like 88 degrees, 20 percent humidity. Picked up Jeff in Colorado Springs because he didn't want to make that drive, and I don't blame him because I don't want to make it back. Race week's done something special for us. We're gonna actually have a gathering at the city park about five miles down the road. We're gonna take the wagon, go down there and hang out, show it off for the folks. But uh, baby, we're ready. Having Jeff on our team gives me huge comfort. A lot of background in racing. Super happy to have him on the team. Hey, race week 2.0, 2023. Jack Wagon's here, baby. An another Texas car based in Kingwood, Texas. Th this is our new friend, Brian, that we just made. Another Texas race weeker. This is, so tell me, Brian, tell me about the car. What is it? So it's a 1935 Dodge is what the VIN number is, uh, goes to. It's got a Chevrolet bed, Ford rear end, uh, Chevy small block, 350, 30 over. And uh, yeah, it's a the, giant pain in the ass. It's probably the biggest part of it. Does, <laughs> does the car have a name? Uh, so we call it Holy Water. Cause uh, it's probably not going to make it anywhere without the Lord's blessing. <laughs> Every time we turn around, it gives up the ghost. So today on the ride here, we lost the fan. We think maybe so. We'll find out. It's uh, overheating on us currently. Though. It is absolutely. So we were talking about what? Tell me what the suck factor is. I mean, it's it's obviously a car that is built for absolute coolness and, and, and not built, comfort. I just built the cup holders because of priorities, so I built those at the uh, at the track today. But uh, suck factor on this is we went to a car show in Magnolia, Texas about two weeks ago. Uh, ambient temperature outside was 110. In here, all the panels, I, I temped them at 145 degrees, just the panels. So the air temp was probably 160-ish. So <laughs> it gets warm for sure. Well, it may be a ride suck factor, but it is a coolness factor of 12. It is off the chart. It's so it's it's on airbags? Oh, yeah. Airbag, triangle, and uh, four bar. Yeah. Dural Trans Cooler. Uh, what what size fuel cell is that? That Nine doesn't. I would say that doesn't we look like it far. doesn't look like it goes a long way before you got to get out. No. <laughs> wow. Your small block Chevrolet 671. Yep. We got a 1968 Corvette fuel heads on there. Uh, it's got a nitrous cam in it, so same for the blower. It's got the Pete and Jake's lowered front end. Because we're putting uh, the drag radios on it, I actually had to raise it up by two inches, otherwise the whole thing's drugged. Yeah, box by probably was a little nervous coming in with the speed bumps and oh, in the I, park. I hung on two of them. So. Oh yeah, I'm sure that some of those marks are yours. And this is as high as it sits up. So, O2 sensor, what? how do, how do we control it? Is it a Holly controlled setup? Or, no, no, not at or all. Or you're just so, something you're monitoring? Yeah, I just monitor for the AFR, so see what my air fuel ratio looks like. Bro, absolute, so, absolute, absolute killer car. I don't know if you saw absolute it Absolute killer car. But on the inside, we made sure to hide all of the electronics up here. Oh, yeah, everything is up. <laughs> that is insane. So, and it normally has a panel that sits here and covers up my, my really crappy wiring, but not today. <laughs> not since we had to diagnose a few things. <laughs> that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. What class no are you going to be in? Uh, so we're going to try to run the uh, the gasser class. Even though it sits low and I don't have the angle, 
it's it's still straight axle in the front, so I don't know. We'll see if they let me play on the gas or. Do you have any? Do you have any party pulleys for the front? Uh, well, no. All I've got so it's a 55 tooth up top, 53 on the bottom. If uh, if I want to make a little bit more boost, I can just flip them around. But currently, we're running maybe four psi on the top end. So we get to Bandemir, you may need to switch them around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it'll run an 11 or a 12, I'll be happy. Dude, so that's, that's absolute cool. It's fun to drive. Ready? Here we go. Right lane, right lane, left. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right lane, right lane. 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 Left lane, got one. Oh! Alright, that's 17 green after three beers. Don't find me on race day. What year is it? It's 64, because the 63 had the split back window. But just, just stupid. So what, what fuel pump do you have? I have a 450 or 480 in tank, and then I have the Magna Fuel secondary. So it's like a 750? Yeah. Like the Pro, Pro Magna, yeah, yes. 750. So I have the 750, but I don't know if it's enough for me to run E85. Magna Fuel primary? says it. Yeah, Magnafuel says it'll make 1,200 horsepower on E85 yeah. at 14 volts. I just right. jerk it all out of there. What size injector? Uh, they're 210s. Oh, so I got the injector. Oh. 